Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Sunday, February 4th, 2018. This is for all signs. We are just going to see whatever comes up for the day. Spiritual strength, financial and material changes, choose wisely. So many of you have options on the table and you've been through a period of probably some sort of spiritual transformation where you've learned something big. I feel like there's been a lesson learned, maybe uh, you're, you've you've been taught something through your subconscious or your conscious it feels as though uh you've been feeling insecure and unstable and because of that you've learned something and now you have your face with a big choice what do you do and you're caught you're being called to use your strength that you have gained throughout this time of insecurity and instability okay so I feel like there was a, a downtime that has taught you something that you can now use, all right? And I really feel like you're being faced with a decision, what should I do? And this decision has consequences, okay? So whatever decision is that you are faced with today, really pay attention to the consequences of your choices because they will have an impact on your life um, and on your future. So I, I really feel like you guys are going to have some kind of um, choice to make today. Uh, we're going to find out more about this choice here in just a second. There's unnecessary worry as far as your finance, finances go. You may feel like you're on thin ice, but I, if you are, you, I think that things will be changing for you. Innocence. Interesting. When I, Before I started this reading... Um, I was thinking, you know, what this day was about. When at, Once the camera was on, I was shuffling this first deck. And partnership came to my mind. Partnership. And I can just see with these two cards, partnership. This could go all the way back to your childhood. The reason why a partnership isn't working out. It could have something to do with your childhood or even your inner child. Maybe there's this fear that you have never... Um, been able to acknowledge okay there's something to do with your childhood you could have somebody even from your past that you are being called to really consider that could be the case because this is a card of consideration some kind of decision maybe it's a very complex one what do you do um, and I, I really feel like there's been some power struggles and many of these power struggles have been in your head. You know, they're, they're all your own power struggles and you have gained a lot. You've been through a period of time and I think it's a time of reflection, which has brought you this spiritual strength. You know, it's brought you the wisdom that you need now to make this decision. I think there's definitely time to make a decision. Okay. Um, and you've been struggling with making the decision. All right. Ooh, self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. It's, you guys have really been working on yourselves. And there's a lot, there is a, a spiritual transformation here for many people. And, and today is just another day where you are probably going to be forced with a choice or given a choice. And you will be called to dig deep for the answer. Okay, that's what I see. You need to do what you love. Okay, you need to act out of love for yourself when making this decision. What does your heart want? 
That's the question. What does your heart want? When you're faced with this decision today or choice that you're going to have to make, what does your heart want? What do you want? I just want to make sure that was zoomed in pretty good. Um, we're going to get one more card here. But I really feel like for many of you, there's, there's, this has something to do with, with the past, okay? Because when I look at that innocence card, you think back to your childhood and how everything was so innocent and so good and there was no worries. So I really feel like it's letting go of worries, making a decision from your heart and wisdom. The wisdom that you've gained through this period of insecurity and instability. You know, during this time of struggle, which many of you have been through, you've gained something, whether you know it or not, you have, you've gained spiritual strength. And so what you're being given now is a choice, and this choice will be made, or hopefully be made through love, okay, love for yourself. I'm going to do what, what I want to do. I'm going to do what my heart tells me to do. This is a message from the Archangel Michael deck, and this is basically an advice card from Archangel Michael. Write about your thoughts and feelings. My prayer, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so that, I, so that I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. Maybe maybe you're being called to write to somebody. Maybe you're being called to express your feelings, even if it's not outward to somebody. Once you express your feelings, you know, first of all, it gives you a big relief. Second of all, you know, it allows you to communicate, okay? It allows you to communicate with the divine or the person that you're wanting to talk to. So I really feel like today you are being offered a choice and you know what you need to do. Your heart says that you need to do. You need to act out of love. You need to follow your heart. You've gained some wisdom through some power struggles and many of you are, are dealing or thinking about somebody from your past. And I think, you know, if you look up here, look at the, it's really amazing if you look at these hands. We got one hand pointed over here. Okay, so this is saying, act through love. Do what you love. What is your heart telling you to do? We got one hand pointed over here. Talk to this person, even if it's in writing. Maybe you need to write an email. Maybe you need to write a text. Maybe you, I don't know. This is talk about it. Talk about it. Write about your thoughts and feelings. Okay? And then we have a hand pointing up here. This is insecurities, instabilities, power struggles. Okay? Once you do that, there will be a huge relief, all right? It's time to come out of the dark and see the light. Come out of this darkness that you've been in. Then we got this card pointed up here, okay? I mean, this card, this hand pointed up here, back to the innocence, back to the time of happiness, back to childhood, back to the past, okay? So you definitely need to, there's definitely some actions that are taken. Then we have this one. I would say that this one's pointed over here. You've got this. You've learned something really, really big. You've been through a period of reflection, a time of transformation. I would call this, even though it's not a real transformation card, but it's where that you have learned the spiritual strength that you need to follow your heart, okay? So I really feel like it's time for you to communicate, perhaps, do the right thing, do the right thing for you. This right here is you're faced with a choice, a very com complex decision, and there is consequences based on your decision, okay? So what are you going to do? That's the question. Today you're going to be, you're going to be, probably be faced with a choice, and you will be called to use your strength and follow your heart. In making your decision that's what I have 